Tubies. It's Subs Week here on Pagan Perspective and I am your Tuesday host, Arianda Ravenheart. And um, kind of didn't realise it was Subs Week until this morning actually, because um, there was a bit of a confusion yesterday between Annie and Charlie about which week it was. I'm not really sure what happened there, but um, yeah, it is Subs Week and um, both Annie and Charlie have now done videos. I think Charlie's is on her personal channel and she's posted it as a video response to the one that Annie uploaded yesterday. So I think that clears everything up. Um, so the topic for this week is lucid dreaming and we haven't been given a specific question. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the little bit of information that I do know about lucid dreaming or things that I have heard. Um, and what I have heard is a couple of specific techniques of how to recognise when you are um, dreaming in order to obtain control over that dream. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of um, an introduction to what I believe lucid dreaming to be and then I will finish up by telling you about something really random that I found to do with lucid dreaming on the internet the other day which has come up at a, a good time really for the topic at hand. So I will leave you with that little bit of information at the end. So lucid dreaming then is when you are in a dream and then you are aware of the fact that it is a dream and then you can therefore take um, conscious control over the dream. Um, it has happened to me accidentally a couple of times because I'm not particularly good at um, uh, you know monitoring my dreams, I don't keep a dream journal or anything like that um, and lucid dreaming isn't something that I've ever tried to get into either. I think I would probably have to start you know by keeping a dream journal and um, therefore like you know, increasing my awareness of my dream state um, and then probably trying to go into lucid dreaming from there because for me I really haven't had much experience in that at all personally. Um, so in order to take control of your dream then and to make conscious decisions about it you need to be aware of the fact that you are dreaming and this has happened to me a couple of times like I say accidentally I wasn't trying to do lucid dreaming but you know when you're sort of having a restless night and you keep coming in and out of consciousness, I find that it sometimes happens then, uh, when I've sort of woken up and then fallen back asleep and gone into the same dream as if it's like a continuation. Um, and then, like, say you're in some kind of fight scene and you're losing or whatever, um, if I become aware of the fact that it is a dream, I can sort of turn the tables around and then take control of that and then you know, conquer whatever it is I'm trying to fight in the dream. That's happened to me on a couple of occasions. In the same sort of situation to do with um, uh, taking control in a fight. Um, and other than that, I think I've had a couple of dreams where I was flying as well, and I was aware of the fact that I was dreaming in those dreams as well, so I consciously directed where I was flying in the dream and that might have been some kind of astral projection thing but that isn't really my field either so I'm um, not really sure about that. So the triggers that I've heard about then about how to recognize when you're in a dream is to look for certain points um, in the dream, certain markers that alter in your dream state from reality because apparently it has something to do with the subconscious not being able to accurately reproduce certain things in your dream. Um, there are a couple of things that are difficult. Apparently hands is one of them. So if you look at your hand during a dream or when you think you might be dreaming and then you have like seven fingers on each hand or um, you know your hands might be webbed or something or you might have cartoon character hands, um, something like that. Because I think the subconscious finds it hard to reproduce hands as, as exactly as they look. That's one of those things that often fluctuates in dreams. So if you do think you might be in a dream because it, you know, you're not supposed to be aware of the fact that you're dreaming in the first place, which is why it's hard to get into. But if you look at your hands and then you suddenly find that you've got like seven fingers or webbed fingers or whatever, then that's a trigger then, so you recognise that you're in a dream, you think, hang on, that's wrong, I must be in a dream. And then you can start to take conscious control over that. The other one that I've heard about as well is clocks. Um, clocks are another one of those things that your subconscious can't replicate properly. So if it's got um, more than 12 numbers, or it hasn't got any numbers at all, and they're like weird symbols or shapes, 
um, either like on a watch or a clock face or something like that. Um, that's another one. And also the sky. If you have a look at the sky and it's not blue, it's like neon purple or something like that, or green. Um, because apparently your subconscious can't replicate the colour of the sky properly either. So these are a couple of points to look out for if you think you might be dreaming or a couple of things to, you know, try and be consciously aware of. But that's one of those things, you know, lucid dreaming is hard to do because you're not supposed to know when you're dreaming. Um, so finally then, the little random bit of information that I have to share with you is something that I found completely by chance on the internet the other day. So it's, like I say, it's well timed for the topic. This is some kind of homemade contraption that a guy has made that's like um, those science safety goggles with um, some red LEDs inside the actual lenses and you put them on when you're sleeping and I think it's on some kind of timer and then after a certain amount of time the red LEDs start flashing and it's not enough to wake you up but it's just enough to um, trigger your subconsciousness um, and just wake that up a little bit so that you are aware of the fact that whatever's happening to you when these little lights start going off that it gets through to you while you're sleeping and then you can you're aware of the fact that you're dreaming and therefore you can then have a lucid dream so I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work and it sounds ridiculous and I'm not entirely sure how serious this thing is supposed to be but if you are interested in having a look at that or just having a bit of a giggle I'll post a link in the box below if I can find it again um, but yeah, I thought that was quite funny. I, I don't really think it's... I don't know how seriously to take it, but um, like I say, lucid dreaming isn't really my area anyway. I don't really know much about it. But um, yeah, I just look out for those triggers in your dreams and hopefully that will sort of alert your consciousness to the fact that your subconscious is currently, you know, projecting this dream um, thing. And um, <laughs> yeah, look out for weird fingers and weird clocks and that will remind you of the fact that you're dreaming and then you can try to take control from there. So uh, yeah, this is an interesting topic and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any more information on lucid dreaming for the rest of our viewers and blessed be.